my name is Brad Vosman. Um, I'm from Tempe, Arizona, and that's my 2001 Ford Excursion Big Brown. I originally got in the scene, I bought a Ford Ranger brand new, my 2001 Ford Ranger. Uh, some people may know about it. It's 22 below. It's, it's probably not going to be finished. Uh, it, it started off on the street source days, the forum days, you know, when you, you'd post up a build and everybody would, you know, be all about it and the street source was a place to go. But that's how I got into customs is I was building Ford Ranger, hoping to be in the mini truck scene. And then after that didn't pan out, my wife was pregnant, knew a family was coming. So my Ford Ranger, uh, Ford Ranger was, you know, pushed aside and the excursion, a family vehicle that we could drive was born. Uh, well, I started, I emailed Todd at Lowboy Motorsports. I had a couple options. I wanted to do something unique. So I had a Titan or an excursion in mind because those are two that I felt could possibly be more unique in the scene with full of Chevys. I sort of had F uh, Ford, you know, in my history with my Ford Ranger. So I figured, okay, let's do Ford. Uh, so I picked up the excursion, found one cheap on Craigslist. Didn't even put, you know, 500 miles on it. Just drove it around town a little bit, got a feel for it and dropped it off at Lowboy because he told me, you know, hey, it'll be a fun project to do. The 26s were one of the first things that we got um, on the 305 30 26 tire and they were probably the best option I had with the eight lug. There's not a lot of options. I, I've had thoughts about going 28s, but since it's such a big, heavy vehicle, um, I may not take that chance. The truck uh, probably weighs about 8,000 pounds. That's what it uh, says on the internet. The plan at Low Boy was just to slam it. And then from there, I think pretty much I I had the idea my Ranger wasn't going to get finished, so I probably had to go out all out on the excursion. So then we started adding the paint ideas and all the body work, all the little nuances of the the Ford engine being unplugged for so while so long and getting it to work with uh, all the different brake boosters and everything being moved. And it, it was about a four year long process. Leon Redmond did the flames. Um, I'm a UPS driver, so looking at brown and gold every single day walking back and forth to the truck i i just fell in love with that combo i figured since the excursion was so big it'd probably look pretty good on, on the excursion and then we we're going to go ghost flames where the copper are but uh, we decided to test the copper and it looked pretty good so uh, leon just laid out the flames i said i wanted to I don't like normal flames. They're just sort of boring if they're just normal, but when they're intertwined, it, it just, it, there's more sexiness to the flames. So the interior was a whole nother monster because the first year I went out to shows, the interior was stock, but I always had the intention to, you know, I wanted a cover truck. I, I needed the interior to be, you know, above and beyond everyone else's. So I went to the first place was a guy, a little shop, he said he could do it. Um, and it was there for about three months. He wrapped the dash, which it has held up. And he, I could just tell after the first three months, it wasn't gonna get done. Yeah, when I, when I took the interior to Steve U at uh, Elevated Design, it was just night and day difference between the other shops I had taken it to. You know, he got it done quick, it was professional. All the work, you know, you can see it, the door panels, the center console, the rear stereo setup all the lighting he put into it, it's, it's all top-notch work. It's beautiful. All right, everyone always asks me, is it a diesel, is it a diesel? You know, I'm not towing a house with it. So it's the, it's the V10 and, you know, cruising the shows, I get probably 14 miles a gallon. I got a 40 gallon fuel cell. So cruise, you know, gas station, gas station, no problem. Yeah, uh, it was originally built to be a driver. So I don't really have any issues with it. It, it drives to Texas, Vegas, California. I've driven to, to every show has gone to. If I had to do it over again, I would have gotten the front end clear broad. So I want to see all these rock chips that it has now. I would say the biggest achievements of the truck, I, I always had the dream of having a cover truck. That's why I started building the Ranger. I wanted to be on the cover of mini trucking and then mini trucking, poof, was gone. So that dream was a little bit gone because now, okay, maybe I could get a mini on the cover of trucking, but that's, I would assume, pretty hard to do. I mean, it's been done, but it's a little bit harder. That dream went away and then getting the excursion on the cover it was you know dream come true getting that done because that was always the goal you know that's why i
put so much time, so much money into getting the truck built to, to just have that finally, you know, little pat on the back. It made me feel more fulfilled. It made me feel like it was money well spent, I guess, to finally, you know, get recognition, get on the cover of trucking. And then as far as awards at different shows, you know, winning best SUV, it, it's, it's always a surprise to me because it wasn't built to be a show winner, but that always feels good. You know, winning at LST, uh, winning best of show at the um, last call in Vegas, um, and then going to California, winning best interior at Relaxing in, in SoCal. You know, so it's good. It feels good to get recognition at all these different shows that are in all different states. Uh, Negative Camber came about, I think I went to the Forbidden Show, and uh, Brian asked me, hey, are you going to be parking with Negative Camber? I thought you were Negative Camber. And I wasn't at the time. Um, I didn't know if I wanted to be in a truck club to begin with, not knowing what is, you know, involved the truck clubs. And Negative Camber, Todd, you know, at Lowboy Motorsports is Negative Camber. So it, it's sort of, that was just the way to go, I guess. I had got to know Negative Camber by parking with them in uh, Severn the Southwest, so I knew a lot of the guys. Um, so it just, just worked out and then I wasn't expecting anything at LST and then that's where I was logoed at LST and like all I did, they told me, hey, move your truck to, you know, because I was parked like way in the back, you know, not, not with the cool kids of Negative Camber. And they're like, oh, go ahead and move your truck. I'm like, oh, sweet, they think my truck's cool enough. So then, you know, I'm pulling it around, I park it. And they're like, oh, well, congratulations. I'm like, Wh what? <laughs> they're like, you didn't see the sticker? I'm like, no, because I was looking through it from my back window when I was driving it, I didn't see it. So it, that, that was a cool, that's, that's why LST is always gonna you know, hold a special place in my heart. All right, when, when cruising Big Brown around, it's on the freeway, no big deal. I mean, it, it cruises with ease. Um, I don't really take it to you know, the Walmarts to go shopping or anything because getting into a parking spot is, is not gonna happen. You know, it, it, it was built to, you know, drive on the roads, fantastic. Going and driving it in parking lots, uh, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. Your eyes and find the light. You got nothing left to lose.